In this video, we will look at the results of the Asset Insights process. Each image is analyzed and indexed into core from the output of the machine learning models. These models can be specially created from scratch, or existing utility models can be fine-tuned to fit your project's needs. To view the results, open the Analytics module in Core. This will bring up a custom layout for your project. The dashboard can be designed per project, and the input data will reflect the data that has been analyzed by Asset Insights. In our first example, we have the sum totals represented here at the top of the interface for the number of assets uploaded and the corresponding categories for each component. Each tile in the dashboard can be exported using generic export formats to facilitate your report creation. Tiles are interactive and can be manipulated via sliders and by clicking on areas of interest. We can adjust these things to add levels of granularity for building reports and making informed decisions. For example, we can look at the component histogram for instances of components that the model reports having the lowest detection confidence. We can immediately see that the connector component is highly represented in the lower confidence scores and may require more training, additional data, or expanded parameters to increase confidence in the results. We can also look at the components that the model has the most confidence in and see that insulators and primary phase wires are doing quite well. Our next example is designed to show more of the defects identified with the second stage of the Asset Insights model pipeline, classification. These models can be trained to give more information about the component, including health, make, model, material type, and damage category. In this example, we have a simple binary case of a component being labeled as defective or not defective. Here we have a table of our uniquely identified assets along with the components attached to each utility pole. This table can be exported as a CSV and imported into Excel for further analysis or to facilitate data transfer. Here are a few more chart examples based around component inventory including a layout specifically for splices. This data can be manipulated via the bubble chart. When Cutout is selected, the components are filtered in the table to show only the selected component type. We can do the same with splices and receive a duplicate of the table represented above. For the final section of this demo, we will look at defects based on classification results. This example is examining transformers for defects. This layout shows the familiar confidence filter alongside the other high-level graphics showing the amount of data and the state of the transformer category as a whole. Another layout shows the number of defective transformers along with the confidence metrics for each component. Thanks for watching this demonstration of the Core Asset Insights Analytics Dashboard.